Hey, Rock, is this it? Are you going to remain in the twilight forever? Miss Balalaika, you have no reason to ally with them at this point. The Washimini clan is a waste of time. You're better off destroying the Kosa clan. Dumbass! The Washimine clan has been considerably weakened. So, that means they're no longer a threat to you, am I right? Not to mention, Washimine's... Don't misunderstand your position. You are here as my interpreter, nothing more. You're not my fellow soldier, my comrade, or with Hotel Moscow. Understand? Washimine's new leader is a teenager! Hey, hey, cut it out! Surely you must still have some sense of justice! Enough, Rock! I've had it! Damn it! Let's all calm down. What do you say, sis? We don't want to reenact a scene from my bloody Valentine here, do we? Shut it, Revy. Rock, look at me. <laughs> Justice. I can't think of another word more loved by the people. It does have a nice ring to it. However, without ever exercising your own strength, you seek the death of others at the hands of someone else. <laughs> well, the justice you refer to smells pretty rotten to me. The stench of a bloodbath. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree? Don't give me that look, Rock. After all, I'm not upset with you. Zeth! Of all the people I know, I just never thought I'd hear those words coming from you. I'm amused. That's all this is. All right, you've made your point, now just let him go. My fingers are twitching. In the grand scheme, our lives are insignificant. They're light as air, much like a candy wrapper. I'm really not in the mood to talk right now. Just let him go. And two hands. I have something to say to you. I don't know what's going on in that head of yours, but it will only bring you disappointment if you hope to have a life like his. Shut up! I know, I know what you're saying, okay? So please, just shut up now! I'm warning you, I've just about reached my limit. <laughs> Miss Balalaika, your victory here is assured, and you no longer have anything to lose, so... Isn't that... Rock! Isn't that enough for you? Oh, fucking idiot. No, it isn't enough. There are two things to remember when you're begging for your life. One is to try and entertain the person holding the gun to your head, and the other is to give that person... <laughs> A convincing reason why they shouldn't kill you. But you haven't managed to do either one of those things. So let's hear it! What obligation do you have to save them anyway? You're misunderstanding. Oh? It's not an obligation. And it's got nothing to do with justice. The only reason I want to do it is because... It's my hobby. Hobby? Yeah, that's right. Some people like to die in the gutters, others like to go to war. Then there's me. When it comes down to it, I'm really no different from you. Things are gonna pick up again tomorrow, Rock. Oh, and from here on, I think you'd be wise not to risk your life on stupid games. Park the car somewhere, will you? Thanks. <laughs>